This short video will show you how to configure IP pass-through on a router running digi-accelerated Linux, such as an EX, IX, or one of the older 6300 or 6310 routers running current firmware. IP pass-through is a common requirement where the digi router needs to be transparent to the connected LAN device, such as a camera, network video recorder, a PLC, or even another router. IP pass-through allows direct access to the connected LAN device and make it appear like that device owns the public IP address rather than the digi router in front of it. The interface shown is the local web management interface of the iX20. The first thing to do is to update to the most recent firmware available. On this iX20 I'm using for the demo, I've updated the firmware to the current version, which is 20.11.32.168. To configure IP pass-through, go to System, Device Configuration. Expand Network, Interfaces, and then the LAN interface, which on this device is Ethernet 2. But if you're unsure which is the LAN Ethernet interface and which is the WAN Ethernet interface, just expand ETH1 and ETH2. Have a look at the firewall zone. And on ETH1 here, you can see that the zone is set to external. So ETH1 on this router is the WAN interface. The firewall zone for Ethernet2 is set to internal. This is the LAN side interface. Click on the drop down next to interface type and select IP pass-through. Expand the source interfaces section, add an interface, click the drop-down, select the WAN or outside interface that will be passing its assigned IP address and all inbound IP traffic to the connected LAN device. In most cases this is the modem interface. Configure the ancillary addressing. This is the IP address information that is assigned to the LAN device when the WAN interface is down. Set this to 10.0.0.2 slash 24 and set the gateway to 10.0.0.1. Click apply at the top of the screen. Everything else was left at default. For more information on this or any other feature of your Digi device, Please see the documentation pages at digi.com/support.